Let's now talk about the other war. Ukraine poses a great risk of its front lines collapsing. On the battleground, Ukrainian troops are trying to buy time. They are hunkering down in the trenches and trying to dodge Russia's high-value artillery weapons. Across the trenches along the battlefront, Ukrainian artillery units across the hills and valleys are playing a cat-and-mouse game with Russian munitions. Ukrainian forces have only minutes to fire before slipping back under cover to evade Russian surveillance in the skies. Currently, Russian troops are quickly advancing in the eastern Donetsk region. Crews say that they are facing increasing harassment from enemy drones that have become a staple of Russia's arsenal. The situation has become more difficult because the Russians have a lot of electronic warfare equipment. They don't allow our birds to fly over their territory. Thus, it's harder to detect targets and hit them. The other reason is their kamikaze strike drones. They have an abundance of Zala and Orlan drones. Moscow's troops have stepped up ground attacks along the 1,000-kilometer front in the south and east of Ukraine, as Kyiv suffers from a lack of soldiers and delays in deliveries from its western allies. Its soldiers have retreated back in three villages along the front lines. Ukraine's top general has warned that his forces have already faced several setbacks on the front lines. The Russia-Ukraine war has come to a point where Ukraine risks losing the industrialized Donetsk region's last big cities. It is currently held by Kyiv. Russian drones have already battered Ukrainian village located in the Donetsk region of eastern Ukraine. The village was home to over 3,000 people. Russian troops have been advancing in the area, pounding Kyiv's depleted, ammunition-deprived uh, forces with artillery drones and bombs. <clears throat> On Monday, Russia threatened to strike British military facilities, saying that it will conduct drills simulating the use of battlefield nuclear weapons. Russian announcement was a warning to Ukraine's Western allies about becoming more deeply engaged in the two-year-old war, where the Kremlin's forces have gained an upper hand amid Ukraine's shortage of manpower and weapons. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.